Welcome back here now with Chef Ryan from City Pork Brasserie and Bar. Now we're not in the kitchen, but we have a little nice setup and you're going to show us how to make the most popular dish here. Yes, we are. Which is? Our rabbit and dumplings. Rabbit and dumplings. Now, I'm wearing an apron, so that means, of course, you I'm going to be helping out. Two other I'm things so for excited. you. The gloves. <laughs> All right, so talk about this dish. How did you invent it? We, this is one of the dishes that me and the other chef consultant were, uh, were talking about, just kind of doing. We kept kicking around ideas on what kind of nationality we wanted to go with it. And then we were kicking around a, an Asian style with our gyoza pot sticker dumplings. So, and that was the seller. <laughs> and then I have a little Chinese restaurant by my house that has their little dumpling sauce that they serve with their pot stickers. It's one of my favorite dipping sauces and stuff. So I actually asked her the ingredients for that. And really? I actually she took that. It? She just she didn't know what I was asking for to begin with, but she gave me the, the main ingredients in it. So I came back and made a, a gravy out of those flavors. Wow. So I put together a... a, a an Asian style for wrapping and dumplings. Now, did you go thank her? Yes, I did. Of course. I see her every Good. week. Good. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> All right, let's see how you make this. Okay, so what I'm going to get you to do, we're going to take our dumplings. What we're going to do is we're going to take some of this. Now, talk about the filling. This, this filling right here is actually we take our smoked pork that we cooked for 12 hours. Uh -huh. We mix it with our, our sambal, soy sauce, different stuff like that to give it that, that Asian inspired. Just a little bit of water on the edges. So now you're only filling the one side because yes. you're folding it. Yes, because if not, then it would it would be too full. And yeah. It would just tear. Boom, we have Look at a, that, a perfect, perfect little dumpling. Little dumpling. So I'm going to get you to do the other three. You get done with those, we're going to start getting these crispy in the skillet. All right. I got a little sesame oil in our hot skillet over here. So now we're just gonna sear these off in the skillet. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, we're gonna fry them on one side, get them crispy. Mm -hmm. We're gonna flip them over. We're gonna add in our mushrooms, cook those a little, a little while. Chef Ryan, this is gonna be my first time <laughs> having rabbit. What? Yeah! Ah. <laughs> Come on, I'm not from Louisiana. <laughs> you, you got me eating wild boar, rabbit. What's next? Man. Rabbit. This is what we call rabbit broth here. This is our uh, our sauce made from the uh, the flavors from the dumpling sauce. And now we're just gonna let this stew down a little bit to heat the dumplings all the way through. All right. Dumpling. So beautiful. You see all the chunky rabbit. Mm-hmm. Top this with a nice cold, crispy coleslaw to make contrasting flavors and textures. Oh. And then fresh micro cilantro. Now it's time to eat. Cheers. Mmm. Just like nothing I've ever had. And just the flavor and the dumplings. They literally melt in your mouth. That homemade dough that you make. Oh my gosh. And the filling. And you totally take, you get that kick right in the back of your mm -hmm. throat with the, the spices and but the meat. that's what the coleslaw does. It kind of, it mellows it all out. You know, you take so much time on each dish. Every component takes a long time to make, but it's so worth it in the oh, end. Oh, it's definitely worth it. Being able to walk in here, see people laughing, eating, enjoying their food, um, it just makes me feel really good. We're doing stuff that's affecting the community around us, and I like to be a part of that, that type of stuff. I like to bring Baton Rouge up to the next level with the food scene. Chef Ryan, I am stuffed from all that meat, but you always have room for dessert. So what do you got? We have our bacon praline bread pudding. The, pr the bread pudding is more of a kind of a creme brulee style bread pudding, so it's just straight vanilla custard based bread Ooh, pudding. What kind of bread do you use? We use uh, the Leidenheimer bread from the New Orleans, the French bread. Did you say bacon? Yes. There's bacon in here? What is this topped with? That is pecans. It has the, uh, the praline sauce that's made with the fat from the bacon. We do our own bacon bacon uh, caramel ice cream to go mm. inside of it. If it wasn't rich enough, now we just made it even richer. Mm -hmm. Always room heaven. for that. Yes, always room for that. Even though it's so rich, <laughs> you can't stop eating it. This is amazing. It's so light and fluffy. Chef Andre, thank you so much for having me here. Thank y'all for coming. It was such a pleasure being able to go in the kitchen and really see how you make your specialty dishes and how it's all done. So much preparation and time goes into them. You gotta put the time in to get quality products. That's right, and you guys are doing it right here. You have to come check out City Pork, Brasserie and Bar, or their other two locations if you haven't done so already. This is gonna complete this series of Carla's Kitchen at City Pork. Thank you, Chef Andre. Thank you. We'll be back with more Local 33 News today.